Women can reduce their risk of heart disease, of developing heart disease by 80% through lifestyle changes alone, period. Whoa, whoa, that, that's, that, that's a wake up call. It says yes. we should start as early as we can. Yes. So 80% changing lifestyle, what do you mean by that? Staying active, staying physically active, 150 minutes of sustained aerobic activity every week. But my knees are bad, my, uh, uh, I'm overweight, I've got, visceral fat i've got so you don't have to run a marathon there are different ways to get aerobic activity water aerobics bike uh, bicycling um, there are multiple ways to get a get aerobic activity even when you have those joint pains janet i tell people all the time you can exercise yes. you can find yes. a pool that you can mm -hmm. walk in the water you can do aerobics you can find something yes. As my wife said, you can sit in a chair and wiggle your arms. <laughs> you know, that's yes. activity. There are multiple ways to get aerobic activity. So give me a couple. Pool. So water aerobics. I know the, the local YMCA, they do water aerobics um, in the pool. Um, like I said, stationary bicycles. Recumbent bicycles are great because there's no stress on the joints whatsoever. Elliptical machines. Um, you know, just getting out and walking. Again, you don't have to run a marathon. You can walk at a good pace to get your heart rate up. What do you think about the apps that are available, the Fitbits, the apps that tell us, hey, you haven't been exercising enough, right. or should we just get our tennis shoes and get out there? I think get your tennis shoes and get out there. Um, you know, those fitness trackers track your activity throughout the day, but what we want is sustained aerobic activity to keep your heart rate level up for a good 30 minutes five days a week. So 30 minutes for an older person would be brisk walking yes. or brisk aerob water aerobics yes. or mm -hmm. finding an exercise program for elderly at a elderly center, is exactly. that what we do? Yeah, and there are wellness programs at a lot of different facilities. Um, so I have a lot of elderly patients that participate in a wellness program at a local physical therapy center where they have healthcare providers there that can monitor them. So the benefits other than just the aerobics, when you get in joint activity, there's social activities there, yes. there's laughter there, there's yes. taking away stress there. So mm -hmm. all those things seem to fit. Yes. Uh, 80%. Right. So what else do we need to do? Not smoking. So smoking damage the heart? Absolutely. Uh, Women that smoke have two times uh, increased risk of cardiovascular disease compared to men who smoke. So women's worse with, with smoking too. Women is worse with the smoking. The best way is just to stop, but there are many programs to stop. Yes. Any suggestions, American Lung Association, stop, or how do you guide yourself to stop? So first of all, you have to commit to quitting smoking. That's the most important thing. That's a, a mental decision, but there are tools out there, whether it's cognitive behavioral therapy or certain medications that can help you quit. How about high blood pressure? High blood pressure, absolutely um, a risk factor and through lifestyle, but with a low sodium diet and regular physical activity, you can bring your blood pressure down alone a lot of times without medicine. So low salt diet, regular mm -hmm. activity, mm -hmm. sometimes will let you take away some of your medicines. Yes. How about being a sedent how about being fat? Yes. <laughs> so so central adiposity or uh, belly fat basically yes. um, is strongly correlated with cardiovascular disease in women and men. So getting rid of your belly fat absolutely will help. So it's not the BMI, body mass index, as much now as it's gonna be right. waist size yes. and hip size. Absolutely. The figures that I remember are 40 for men and 35 for women. So if your waist is greater than 35? Uh, I believe so. So I, mm -hmm. with, with that, yes. visceral fat is the most important cardiovascular wise. Yes. yes. Um, advice for women? Start young. Yeah. Health, healthy habits equal healthy women. You know, and, and, and if you didn't start young, can you, is it ever too late? It is never too late to make changes. So Again, 80% reduction in cardiovascular disease I think that's with so, lifestyle changes. I think that's so, so impressive. It is.